Hello neighbors, this is Akibataku39 and welcome to another episode on this channel. Today, we'll be taking a look at Max Factory 1-7 scale Hatsune Miku Heart Hunter version from the video game series Hatsune Miku Project Diva F2. Now, if you cannot tell from my outro and my channel art banner, I'm a big, big Hatsune Miku fan. And to be honest, the term big is kind of an understatement. I can go to the extreme from getting all of her merchandise, the dakimakuras, the pillows, to hell, even attending the Miku Expo 2017 Malaysia concert. But the question of whether that concert is well managed is a whole nother story of itself. But of course, we are not here to talk about the uh, event nor Miku herself, we are talking about this figure itself. So does this figure do the modules justice? Well, let's find out. Let's start off with the box. Now, the box art, it is basically perfect. It really reflects the whole devilish, uh, subicus-like theme, which I really like, honestly. It is well printed, is well textured, and, well, there's nothing else to say. It's basically perfect. The window box, I believe it is, well, basic enough to t entice one or two people to buy this figure. That is, of course, you can find it. Which, by the way, if you're curious of why I get this figure, I get this figure from the website Mandarake. It is a great website to get all sorts of, well, anime figures, mangas, video games, and such. So I recommend you go over there if you need to get something for a quick buck. So, box art-wise, I'm just going to give a casual B. So, without further ado, let's open this figure. Besides the figure itself, we also got a few other accessories. For starters, we got this little heart cushion, which is help supposed to help her to attach on the stand, as well as a base. While assembling the figure, it is important to note that before you attach the cushion on the stand base first, you should be attaching the figure on the cushion first, otherwise you will most likely break something, which of course we do not want. Now let's talk about the aesthetics of the figure, but for starters, this figure it is not illustration accurate. Well, the posture at least. It, the illustration shows her lying down while eating ice cream. This one shows her standing up and possibly hunting for men's heart, which goes by the name, I guess. <laughs> but I believe this figure's posture is better than the original, because I believe if she was to be in the lying down position, she would look... Uh, well, I cannot say small, but somewhere around that. After all, she is a 1-7 scale figure, so she definitely needs to show off her size, if you get what I mean. <laughs> Another good thing about this non-accurate illustration posture is that now we can see a whole new detail that we cannot see both in the illustration and in the in-game model. At least to my eyes anyway. I believe someone who has sharp eyes can capture every single detail of the model, but for me, I can. What details am I talking about, by the way? Well, for starters, we can now see how her tail is attached to her suit, how the underside of her feet looks like, to hell, how her hair is braided from behind. So, this is one of the reasons I really like about anime figures, is that they show details that you probably never noticed. Before we conclude the aesthetics of the figure, I want to point out something that pretty much a lot of people have missed out, and that part is the suspenders. The reason I'm pointing out the leg suspenders is that I noticed something that actually blows my mind. Is that the, sus the sculpting of the suspenders on the skin is actually separately sculpted. They could have easily go to the lazy route and sculpted them as one single piece, but they didn't. They actually put that little extra little detail that pretty much no one will actually care about. It is these kind of attention to detail that I have to really give props to the sculptor. This kind of attention to detail shows that how much dedication he is putting into this tiny figure. So whoever the sculptor is, which I'll put the name here later on, I can really say thank you. So aesthetic wise, I'm giving it a solid A+. Next, we'll talk about the quality of the figure. Now the quality on the figure is basically perfect for a Max Factory figure. The PVC is hard and solid. And once again, the painting on the, the flesh areas is the same material they use for the 1-7 scale Maki figure I reviewed not too long ago. 
It is really satisfying to touch it, and I cannot express it honestly. The sculpting of the devil suit itself it is brilliant. They capture every single detail a realistic suit would have, such as the creases, the body shape, and pretty much everything else that you could expect. It is basically perfect. Quality-wise, once again, it is a solid A+. Transformation-wise, I'm giving it a pass. Articulation-wise, for a scale figure, it is a pass. Well, accessory-wise, like I said in my previous video, some collectors may consider the base to be an accessory, but to me, it's just another part of the figure. After all, without it, the figure will be incomplete and cannot stand at all. So, accessory-wise, it is a pass. Overall, should you get this figure? Undoubtedly, yes. However, I will only recommend to this figure for any diehard Miku fan out there, because if you ask me, the average anime fan won't necessarily appreciate what this character truly is, and the average Miku fan would think that this figure is overpriced, but for the diehard Miku fans, it is a treat for them. So overall, I'm give the, giving this figure a solid A+. Once again, thank you all very much for watching this video, and if you do like this video, please consider sharing it to your friends and giving it a like. And if you want to see more videos from me, please consider subscribing to the channel. It would help me very much and give me a lot of motivation. But until then, see you guys in the next video, and remember, Tail World.